The 1541 Algiers expedition occurred when Charles V of the Holy Roman Empire attempted to lead a fleet against the Ottoman Empire's stronghold of Algiers, in modern Algeria. Largely because of stormy weather, the expedition was a failure. Background <inaudible> 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 Algiers had been under the control of the Ottoman Emperor Suleiman the Magnificent since its capture in 1529 by Barbarossa. Barbarossa had left Algiers in 1535 to be named High Admiral of the Ottoman Empire in Constantinople, and was replaced as governor by Hassan Aga, an eunuch and Sardinian renegade. Hassan had in his service the well known Ottoman naval commanders Dragut, Salah Reis, and Sinan Pasha. Charles V made considerable preparations for the expedition, wishing to obtain revenge for the recent siege of Buda, however, the Spanish and Genoese fleets was severely damaged by a storm, forcing him to abandon the venture. <laughs> expedition Charles V embarked very late in the season, on 28 September 1541, delayed by troubles in Germany and Flanders. The fleet was assembled in the Bay of Palma, at Majorca. It had more than 500 sails and 24,000 soldiers. After enduring difficult weather, the fleet only arrived in front of Algiers on 19 October. The most distinguished Spanish commanders accompanied Charles V on this expedition, including Hernán Cortés, the conqueror of Mexico. Though he was never invited to the War Council, troops were disembarked on the 23rd of October, and Charles established his headquarters on a land promontory surrounded by German troops. German, Spanish, and Italian troops, accompanied by 150 knights of Malta, began to land while repelling Algerine opposition, soon surrounding the city. Except for the northern part, the fate of the city seemed to be sealed, however, the following day the weather became severe with heavy rains. Many galleys lost their anchors and 15 were wrecked onshore. Another 33 carracks sank, while many more were dispersed. As more troops were attempting to land, the Algerines started to make sorties, slaughtering the newly arrived. Charles V was surrounded, and was only saved by the resistance of the Knights of Malta. Andrea Doria managed to find a safer harbour for the remainder of the fleet at Cape Matifu, five miles east of Algiers. He enjoined Charles V to abandon his position and join him in Matifu, which Charles V did with great difficulty. From there, still oppressed by the weather, the remaining troops sailed to Bougie, still a Spanish harbour at that time. Charles could only depart for the open sea on 23 November. Throwing his horses overboard, Charles abandoned his army and sailed home. He finally reached Cartagena, in southeast Spain, on 3 December. Losses amongst the invading force were heavy with 17 galleys and 130 carracks lost, plus large numbers of sailors and soldiers. A Turkish chronicler confirming that the Berber tribes were massacring the 12.000 men of invading forces so many of Charles's troops were taken captive that there was a glut of slaves on the market in Algiers, so that 1541 was said to be the year when Christians were sold for the price of an onion per head. <laughs> Aftermath the disaster considerably weakened the Spanish, and Hassan Aga took the opportunity to attack Mers el Kebir, the harbour of the Spanish base of Oran, in July 1542. Notes References Garnier, Edith Laliance Impi Editions du Felon, 2008, Paris ISBN 978-2-86645-678-8 Interview